Hey guys, it's time for another installment of New Music Tuesday. And today I have three things or three albums that I want to talk with you about. Um, well, two of them are albums and one's more of like an EP or set of singles. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about some Third Day, one of my favorite Christian rock bands. Neil's new album, I think it's called Red or something like that. And um, then the Glee um, project with the Grease songs, the songs from Grease. Um, so first things first, Third Day, which I'm playing right now if you hear it in the background. I love their album. It's called Miracle. Um, my favorite song on it so far is um, I Need a Miracle. But um, I've listened to the entire album. I've listened to it twice this morning and it has a really great flow to it. I know they're going to be on Jay Leno this Friday to perform Hit Me Like a Bomb, which is the first single, I mean, which is the first song on the album. And I always like Third Day. It's very hard for them to disappoint me. So um, I really, really enjoy it. I will have to listen to it a little bit more to see which songs really, really resonate with me. But um, definitely I Need a Miracle. And um, I do like Hit Me Like a Bomb. So I'm definitely interested to see how they're going to perform that on um, Jay Leno's show. So Third Day is definitely um, a go in my book for a good album to purchase. Um, Neil's album Red, I listened to it. Here's my problem with Neo. Ever since um, the Year of the Gentleman, I have just been really, really disappointed with him and how his music. I loved his first two albums. I loved In My Own Words and I loved Because of You and I'm looking at the titles of them right now. Um, and then Year of the Gentleman, I was 50-50 on that one. I did like it because it was a different sound. But Libra Scale, I did not like because I just felt like he was trying a little bit too hard to be like hardcore, um, really into urban. When Neo first came out, he was borderline urban pop. And now, like, now that he's, like, trying to be more urban R&B, he's trying a little too hard. Like, he's not a Jamie Foxx, you know? He's not um, <clears throat> artists like that that can do those kinds of things. He is definitely not um, a Keith Sweat. You know, Keith Sweat is, you know, from the 90s and the 80s. Yeah, but he's not like that. And so it looks like he's trying a little too hard. And then... With this new album, Red, like, especially with that video, I think it's Lazy Love or something like that. He's, like, shirtless and trying to bulk up and trying to be more macho and all these different things. And he's trying to have this, like, hardcore sound. And I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling it because it's not the Neo that I like. Um, I get it that artists try to evolve and to, you know, mature their sound. But I'm not liking where Neo is going with this at all. The only surprise that I can say I definitely, definitely like is, um... He does a collaboration with Tim McGraw on this album. I can't remember what the song is called. Um, it's probably called like Should Be You or something like that. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but he does have a song where he collaborates with Tim McGraw on it. And I said I give him hats off for that. I love to see um, different genres collaborate. Tim McGraw uh, collabed with Nelly a few years back, if I'm sure you remember that. And I didn't really like that song. <laughs> but I took my hat off to Tim McGraw and to Nelly for it that collaboration um so red i'm not really liking it too much but maybe i should give it another listen let me know what you guys think and then finally the glee uh track i love glee i am a gleek i embrace it fully i truly do um so they released a set of about nine ten songs um from uh the grease album uh my favorite is already hopelessly devoted to you and Grease Lightning. Grease Lightning, go Grease Lightning, go Grease Lightning. Okay, well, yeah, but it's it's a really fun sound. So I definitely love that and I've already listened to it a few times through. I listened to it at work today. Um, I have had a chance to listen to One Direction's new album, but that doesn't come out till next week. So I'm going to hold my opinion on that. And I'm going to do a full-fledged review next week on the One Direction album. But until next week, that is it for this week's New Music Tuesday. And I will see you next week. Let me know in the comments down below if there's any albums or songs that I need to be listening to right now that you think I should be. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!